Hello everyone and welcome back to another SAF module API of the week. This time we are uh, reviewing the file attachment module. This will be a, a quick one. It's pretty simple to implement and right away you have a functionality to attach documents, PDF, pictures, anything you want to your business object. So let's browse quickly through the documentation and let's then let's get in action. So the heart of the attachment module is the ifile data interface. That one has uh, the methods for save the file, clear the file, load the file. So in SAF, there is already a file data class that implements that interface, but you can always implement it in your business object. Actually, we have a video where we do that implementation just to be able to, instead of saving the the attachment to the database saving to Dropbox and we have the implementation for Amazon S3, OneDrive, Blob Storage, you name it. Uh, we can save it to disk and that's one of the examples that the documentation of the Express has. If you see here, they give you a, a the flow of how to get that working, but we're not gonna cover that now. This is more for a beginner level. And if you want, just watch the Dropbox video you have the source code there and everything so you can actually take a look and also because we are saving one at a time if you want to take a look at how to add multiple files in the web version please go for it okay let's come back to it the file data interface what i was telling you before if you see the method you have for clear the data to load the data from the string save the data to the string so really handy really nice really easy okay let's close this out and let's actually let's just finish the quick overview of the documentation that way we just come back to code and never look back okay here we have a couple more things to see it's like we can actually filter if we are only allowing them to uh, select pictures we can actually say that in attribute and in the model we can say only pdf and things like that we can also have to be aware that in ASP.NET, the default file upload size is four megabytes. So if you want more than that, you should add this on your web comp. But that's pretty much it. Okay, let's jump to code. First things as always, we need to add the file module to our application right here. This is, and we only have to add it actually in the specific uh, platform. So let's do it for now I open the model designer instead of the module designer. Okay, right here, let's just drag the wind forms. Perfect. So now that we have it, let's just go, I don't know, to our customer class. And let's add a file data property. Let's come here and say XPO. It will be a file data. And let's call it attach. Hopefully I'm spelling that right. I'm not. Oh, I am, I am. Okay. And that's it. Let's run it. Let's see what happens. Should be. Okay. Let's close this. Confirm the last module. And let's open one of the customers. Okay, so we have this new attachment property here and we click on it and we can actually let's get anything. Let's put it. Boom, right there. We save it. And right here we can click on it and it open in the other screen but actually let's choose another file that we can let's say this one one pdf we can save it and then we can open it we we'll open again in the second batch right here it opened the pdf you can actually if we right click we can clear the content we can open it and so on so on Really nice, right? Just one property. Okay, let's now do something nicer. Let's add a collection. Let's add a new 
Let me stop it for a second. Start a new directory item. And let's do XP business object and I put file attachments. And let's inherit that for file attachment base. And by the way, those classes are all from the business class library. So right here, we are going to pretty much do an association with contact. This will be XPA customer, customer. customer and let's just put a title or anything it doesn't matter that's up to you okay so what are we missing here we're missing it oh we made it a static by mistake so let's take that out and now let's go to the customer and let's do a, a collection of file attach okay. hopefully hopefully I'm spelling that right and let's just make sure we have the same that's it okay that's it let's run it again Perfect. Let's just close this again and open one of the servers. Right here now we should have a collection of file attachment that we can actually open and put any title. This will be monthly report. And we're gonna select a file. And here we go then we can attach as many files as we need so pretty nice right just drag and drop declare a property good to go declare a collection good to go so let's see quickly we have also this filter type attribute this one will allow us to do few nice things one of the most nice one is the the ability to to decide which uh, type of files I want to allow. So if we go to customer and let's say we go to the file data, which we call it attachment. If we go to the attachment, we have filters here. And we're going to add a new one and we will call it image. And then we're gonna add an extension and I will call it dot png. And that's it. Let's close it out. Now when we try to add the attachment, it will be image dot png. Nice. So that's pretty much for this video. Pretty simple, pretty easy, fast. That's what we love about SAF. Until next one, SAF out. Now, I just realized we didn't show the web part, so this could be just a quick add. So let's just, I add the file attachment ASP.NET module to the module designer in the web module. And let's just run it. So you see, it's exactly the same. Nothing changed. I haven't touched code. I haven't done anything. I just run the project and show you that it is actually working as it should.
in the southern one and if you see I haven't changed anything we have the attachment the only difference is right here we are not seeing the filter because we did that only for uh, windows but same thing even the uh, attachment that we did in windows is here so i just wanted to show you that in web it works great so now for real stuff out